With regards to the recitation of Surah Yasin, all the ahadith which are narrated in this regard are categorized and classed are either fabricated or extremely weak. So, well, in this case, what is the verdict for reciting Quran in general and granting their word to a lay person? This is one of the issues where there is a dispute among the scholars in its regard. A school of thought which says by analogy to the rest of the acts of worship, if I can fast and give the reward of my fasting to my late father, if I give, give any charity and donate the reward for my late mother, then likewise I can recite Quran and uh, grant the reward of my recitation to whomever I want to. And this is a school of thought. There is a classical school which in this particular mas'ala they make sense. They say al Everything in the acts of worship must be practiced based on a reference. Either the Prophet, peace be upon him, did it, recommended it, or approved it. Yani it has been witnessed by the Prophet or his companions. So they said it is true that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked about my mother passed away and she owed fasting. Can I fast on her behalf? Yes. Can I perform Hajj on behalf of Shubroma who did not? Yes, provided you do Hajj on behalf of yourself. Uh, can I give any charity on behalf of Al? Yes. But the recitation of Quran, likewise Namaz or the prayers were not included. So they said we stick to what was prescribed. To come out of this dispute, here in Askuda and in Huda TV, we do not represent a single school of thought all the way. Rather, and after studying comprehensive fiqh of all the different schools of thoughts, even some of the Shia Madahib, we present what Allah knows best, what we think and what we believe in the light of the evidences is most accurate. So we do not dictate to the viewers a particular madhab. We don't say Hanafi alone or Hanbali or Shafi'i or a particular madhab. Rather, we like the honeybees, we collect what is best and give you their nectar. So in this case, what is best? What is best? I recite Quran as much as I want. And when I finish, I pray for my father. He would benefit out of the supplication which came after a virtuous act, which is the recitation of Quran. I invite people for iftar so that everyone will have iftar and I would have a reward for feeding people for iftar and I grant that reward for my late father permissible yes that is permissible I've done multiple umrah for my late father because it is prescribed so for the Quran I recite then I make dua for him but I, I keep the reward for myself of the recitation of the Quran and I make dua for him if any person decided I'm going to follow the other school of thought and I'm going to recite the whole Quran and grant its reward to whomever who passed away. It's your choice and it is permissible. But I follow the school which says when it comes to the ibadah, they are tawqifi, they must rely on a reference.